All right, well, Realm 3 is cleared either way, and now we have to ask the question, what's next? More max HP, curses inflicted on the party last longer, area contains quicksand, no merchant nodes. I don't like no merchant nodes. Enemies have fire resist, enemies have cold resist, uh, curses last longer, or... Party gains exhaustion, we don't care about that. Area contains cact cacti, no safe passage nodes, enemies resist fire. I'm going to reroll this one, I think, just to see what we get. No campsite nodes. Area contains quicksand. Party has minus four penalty on challenge rolls and minus on... Uh, I think we're going to do... We're going to do the Forgotten Township. Because we, uh, we know that we have a potion that allows us to immediately deal with the exhaustion. So that's a, that's a non-effect. Sadly, we're getting the we're getting the fate right away. Or excuse me, we're getting the merchant right away when we're extremely broke. We got the we got the devourer down at the bottom there. I'm inclined to want to go to the forge. So maybe we go here, grab the money, we do this fight, we do this fight. Both of these seem reasonable. Pick up this. Uh, and then we have to take a curse, which they don't last twice as long. So we'd have a curse for this fight, which is just a lot of wolves. I think we can do that. And then 150 versus 160. This one gives us XP. I'm a little sad we're not getting the puzzle node. Well, okay, we could pick up a fate if we go this way. I mean, that sounds really, really interesting, Darkwing, uh, for sure. So do I do I value the fate and the ability to go here to pick up a town portal scroll over a fight? Because we could go here to here to here to here to here to here. We end up cursed for one on that one. But then we probably don't want to do this fight. That's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, okay, let's let's pick up a Town Portal Scroll. It's always good to have one on hand. Uh, and we have some stuff to sell, so... Like, we're not going to use Gold Flight, right? Because what are, what are our boots right now? Yeah, I like Ingvar Stompers. I'm happy with the Stompers. Uh, what about this? We have no helmet, so that was just, uh, that was just an oversight by me. We might as well put that on. This had no downside. Except that we have to void off Roar. Because days is they generate less guard. I don't think I care. Uh, then this gets sold. Minus four initiative. Plus one to all void cards. Plus one rank to all void cards. What the heck is a void card? This is this is what I say. Oh, did I just mark that as junk? I didn't mean to do that. This, this is what I say about the game having a lot of complexity. I'm kind of like sitting here being like... I don't, I don't actually know what void cards are. Converting something to dex is not going to be useful for us. All right, so we'll, we'll leave it there. Uh, gambling wise, we don't really. We could pick up a random, a, a random red rune, but I, we don't have a lot of places to put them even at the moment. Uh, stand your ground. We could at least add a modifier to it. Make it make it generate a fury. I don't I don't see a I don't see a problem with that. And then can we put we can put spiked armor on here and make it intrinsic. Aha. Okay, that, that helps the that helps our game start. So that's a nice it's a nice little something. I don't think any of these are particularly valuable. And then we have like 300 gold to work with. Okay, so void is a is a descriptor on cards. I don't think we have any void cards. Yeah, so that's that's not uh, we're not missing out on anything too crazy there. Picking up some bigger health potions, I think, uh, is is useful. And then oh, down here, what do we uh, what do we have? Reset the deck and skill grid of the current hero, retaining only level and skill points. Ooh, that just seems like a lot of work. 
That just seems like a lot of work. I was looking for that in another run. Or was I looking for that in this run? I think I was actually looking for that in this run because I did this little like pick up some initiative thing. But I think at this point it's it's too late for that to have a lot of uh, a lot of value. So I don't think I don't think we're getting anything of use out of this shop that we haven't already bought. So and I don't think we're gambling. So let's uh let's skedaddle. Now we need to go here so that we get back on the left path. Rare weapon, magical items, start battle with max SP. Enemies have six initiative is a little scary. Whoops, I just reset the modifiers. That was uh not the button I meant to click. <laughs> Unforced error. I don't know where those modifiers went. It seems off the screen is the short version. But now our spiked armor is intrinsic, which means that we can just start stacking, defend, and profiting. So you're, you're attacking straight. So yeah, there's no... If we move up one, we're not getting any more of anything. There we go. Buck 99, love to see it. Lovely. And I, I rolled over the defense because now if we can get that kind of first turn action, we're, we're in great shape. So I'm gonna spend SP to get this guy attacking us, I think. Now, this is where this is where things get exciting. Wait, Bulwark did just did not do the thing that it was supposed to do. Reduce damage taken from the next attack by 50. Purge 6, double your armor. It did not double our armor. I am sure of that. And I'm now realizing that Bulwark expends, which makes it less uh, less valuable, less useful. I think we focus on this guy first. And we're still hitting for 500, but uh, I'm starting to think we should just take Bulwark and convert it over anyways. Because it, it doesn't seem as, as impactful as I hoped it would be. Give, given that it, it expends. We'll have to check the upgrades to see if there's a way to remove expend, but I, I suspect there's not. Okay. So you're you're about to get wrecked, you just don't even know it yet. I don't think this is the kill. Okay. Oh yeah, it is actually. <laughs> Spell attack damage. Oh yeah, we should put our new potions on just so that we're doing a little more. Like these uh these rare talismans, I'm I'm pretty disappointed with them. We've only started seeing them recently. A reflex check or lose two supplies, heroes attempt a reflex check that's slightly more likely to succeed. Sure, I'll do this one. Uh oh, one off. You son of a gun. We can take the damage though. That's that's no uh that's no bother. We have no lack of healing, that's for sure. Okay, we're just hoping everybody attacks right off the bat. Yes, this is what we like to see. Break yourselves upon my body. <laughs>
Now I just, I wish that everybody wasn't attacking in straight lines. I do think we, we have a problem. Which is that this guy, he's always gonna... So 164, we use that, it does not double our armor. That is, uh, that is an incorrect uh, tooltip. I don't think there's any value in using Sustaining Strike right now until this zombie is, uh, is dead, because we'd just be hitting into him and then he would hit and toss and die. Um, oh wait, does it, is it Bulwark doubles armor, not defend, doesn't it? Double your armor, ugh. Yeah, that's very, uh, very disappointing. In my, in my head, I was like, it's got to be double guard, but no, it is definitely double armor. Makes perfect sense. But yeah, now unfortunately, I think sustaining strike is going to be the only thing that, uh, that we use to get the kill on this guy. And we're just going to have to wait until we draw it several more times. It's a good thing he doesn't have potent. I mean, we'd be able to heal through it regardless, but. Be nice if he just poked us. <laughs> so I do that to make this free and then, yep. Didn't quite hit the level up. Okay, so now we have to decide if we want to be inflicted by afflicted by a curse, and then I think regardless, after we go to the forge, we're gonna teleport over here. Cause I don't I don't want to take this. There's a curse hidden underneath here that you can barely see. I don't really want to take two curses, but I think we'll do this one. I think the wolves should be okay. Famous last words. Of course. Let's move to here. It's just so we're, we're starting to work on someone. Let's, let's just get our armor stacks increased. This might be a very long fight because I think the, the pack leaders all... Oh, nice. The combo attacks are going to work super well for us here. Yeah, the attacks of opportunity will be, like, extremely valuable for us. Ooh, one of them is faster. That's a little a little spooky. Nobody's attacking, so... I think we just stack up as much, uh, as much defense as we can in anticipation of someone being able to attack us, hopefully. I wonder if they if they just get, get too big cuz there's 3 of them currently uh Okay, this is this is good for us. This guy is going to generate attacks of opportunity, I think. So weirdly that's really good for us because if we generate a lot of block it should kill a few of them. Although they're going to get really big. I wonder if they're just going to do too much damage. Oh, why did why did that not trigger? Game. Gang up. When an ally from the same race attacks target in your lane. Okay, maybe, maybe lane was the keyword there that we were missing. But yeah, if these guys aren't going to attack and are just going to keep stacking, we might uh, we might have a problem. Come on now, really? I think this is a flaw in the AI. I, I think if there was only one of them left, they would attack. But because there's two of them left, they... 
uh, they're gonna sit here and continue buffing, which which may very well kill us. Because uh, then when there's only one left, it's gonna have like 150 strength, probably, maybe more. I keep working on you, I guess. Do these wear off, or is this a, a forever buff? Looks like it's a... a forever buff. When your build requires the enemy to attack and the enemy is just like, eh, I'll pass. <laughs> it's not a great situation. We're like two cycles of our deck away from that, but like the the damage that these guys are gonna do is gonna be like more than we can generate in defense. Okay, we can let's make sure we keep the blinds rolling. I think that's extremely advantageous. Okay, sustaining strike, it's good that you have graced us with your presence. <laughs> this is such a such a sad way to go out. Um <laughs> Alright, sustaining blade being available is huge, because now this thing is is gonna do its last its last buff, I suspect. But then the damage is going to be a little... Um, oh, come on, game. <laughs> Doing that because I hope that when it generates the wolf, the wolf immediately dies. But we may just get stuck in this loop. Okay, so... I'm gonna keep stacking blind just in case. But the, the fact that the wolf is not attacking is also very frustrating. But it looks like the... I'm, I'm starting to think these guys, and I guess we could check their deck, will never will never attack yeah they only they only have combo attacks oh but gang up could be 103 damage i don't know if that's modified so i, I think i need to be careful but we'll see if uh okay did not uh did not generate anything this, ironically, this cactus is in the way. That seems bad. 360, so blind will make it so that half damage is dealt. So that's 150, 190. That still seems like too much. <laughs> well. Or is this 360 with blind applied? Oh, geez. I just, I don't know if we die or not. That's the, that's the issue here. Now, I think we, I don't think we risk it. I think if I move back to here, it will hit this. Yeah, okay, so it was. Uh, 
for every row apart. Oh, come on. Why is it still targeting me? Oh, no. I think we die. Oh, my gosh. Well, it was a cool run, but what also a disappointing end to that run. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Say la vie. That's what you. Uh, that's what you get when you. Uh, when you play with fire, and I guess that that lesson is we learned the lesson that while spiked armor is awesome, uh, buffing wolves are a problem for it. Go figure. I'm in the mood to do more solo runs, I think. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll get into another one of those.